Well, positively Jackson tonight. It was a celebration at Baptist Health's South Bank location today. More than 100 people gathered for the unveiling of the hospital's newest cancer detection and removal technology. Here's a look. It's the hospital's 50th anniversary of having an endoscopy center partnered with Borland Groover. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny shows us the latest life-saving technology. As crowds of doctors and nurses gathered Wednesday morning to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Center for Endoscopy at Baptist Health, the main attraction was the unveiling of the Olympus Evis X1, the newest and most advanced medical equipment that will be used to detect colon and stomach cancer. The difference between this Olympus Evis X1 compared to older generations of this technology is the fact that this allows doctors to see way more, especially when I hit this button. Look at what we can see. This is a simulation of an endoscopy being performed on the stomach. That little red mark is a lesion. A longer and bigger scope is used to inspect the colon or lower gastrointestinal tract for projecting growths of tissue known as polyps. Sometimes polyps are cancerous. Chief of Gastroenterology Dr. Vikram Gopil says this goes to show that detecting colon and stomach cancer has come a long way in the past 50 years. Our original X-rays and barium enemas were the only way of looking at the bowel. It has since progressed where we have gone from optical scopes, where we looked on um, the scope like a microscope, it went to fiber optics. Today, it is high resolution video endoscopy, real time, high resolution, and with that, we can detect many cancers early, and we can treat these diseases a lot earlier before they metastasize or advance throughout the body. Another advanced piece of technology is this pill that a patient would swallow. The pill is not new to gastroenterology, but the camera and broadcast technology inside have been updated. And watch it tumble through your 20 feet of small intestine, looking at diseases, looking at Crohn's disease, ulcer colitis, polyps, strictures, and cancers, and those can be identified non-invasively. And this tool is used to apply sutures within the colon or stomach without having to cut a person open. Of course, the use of all this advanced technology is only good if the team in charge of operating it. We have a team of nurses, a team of technicians, a technologist who actually stands side by side with the physicians to help diagnose and treat conditions that are life threatening. According to the American Cancer Society, so far this year, more than 26,000 cases of stomach cancer have been diagnosed in the U.S. And so far, more than 10,000 people have died from stomach cancer. And when it comes to colon cancer, more than 106,000 cases were reported this year. But here at Baptist, I wanted to know how frequently doctors diagnose patients with colon or stomach cancer. Unfortunately, far too many. And we need more people to get screened. We need more people to talk to their doctors about their health and about their family history. So it is not uh, uncommon to diagnose significant cancer. Especially cancer that could have been detected in its earlier stage. Eric Aubigny, Channel 4, The Local Station.